All right kids gather round I'm gonna tell you a story about a real skinwalker, a nagoshi, not a warlock or a widigo. This story should hopefully help in illustrating why cannot kill a skinwalker. Why that stanky ass bear saw in your backyard was not a skinwalker. Why if you ever meet a skinwalker, what you do is hide. Try your best to not breathe too loud, stay behind cover if you have it, just try to remember that you are functionally insignificant to this thing unless it takes notice in you, and you really don't want it to take notice in you. Ready kids? Be me. Visiting a friend in a small town with reservation far up north. Like, way up north. Northern Canada north. Outside Nagoshi territory. Friend is involved with girl from reservation. Long story but important part is I'm there because I like both of them and they need help. I stay in town, he heads out to the reserve. Small local bar. JPG. Chatting up locals. Trying to find place to stay. Wind up talking to older guy who seems to be a regular. Tells me not to bother over at reservation. Something has them all riled up right now. Assume it's just the shit show involving social situation of my friend but don't say anything. Old guy says he went to visit a friend on the reservation two days back. Almost got shot in the woods on the way in. His friend won't explain why. Just tells him to stay away for a bit, not to go out in woods too far from town. Naturally this makes me concerned for my friend. Call up friend. This was flip phone days by the way. Friend explains that everyone is acting all cryptic over there too. Friend came here with the hopes of getting GF's parents to let her leave with him. They're actually pretty sympathetic, but won't let them leave yet. Something's going on. Chief and elders meeting every night. Everyone staying indoors whenever possible. Everyone refuses to explain, avoids topic. Friend thinks it's some cultural thing, and he's white, so. Friend, BTW, is a pretty good guy, aside from being a bit soft on the social justice side of things, in particular, cultural appropriation etc., which has actually served him well in getting this GF, so fair enough. Friend is content to sit tight for a bit. So back to me. GIF. Find a room in someone's basement. Look around town for odd jobs to pay back guy whose basement I'm occupying. Old man I met at bar wants some help clearing trails. Lives outside town. Opposite direction from reservation. End up spending a lot of time drinking with him at the bar over next week or so. Getting to know people. That kind of shit. About a week and a half since I got there. Phone rings. PNG. His friend. Shit is going down at the reserve. Hangs up without explaining everything. Hear police sirens. Hear about it all the next day at bar. One of reserve's elders found dead. Absolutely eviscerated. Official statement, there. Word on street and at bar, alcohol poisoning and the chief covered it up with machete. Word from friend, next day, something spooky. Friend told me. Town has been having problems with mutilated animals last few weeks. Medicine man says something is really bad but can't say what. Elders think it's some fucked up youth. One elder agrees with medicine man. Went on a trip south when younger, learned from a relative, relative via white people, about local legends down there. Heard story from twenties about last time a real skinwalker was seen. Thinks this is one of them. Other elders dismiss this, but medicine man is hesitant. Nagoshi doesn't fit with local beliefs, not quite anyways, but there are threads of something there that make it hauntingly familiar. Elder decides to go out at night, try ritual to communicate with it. Found ritual online, apparently, at local library computer in town. Dial up noises. Wave. Goes out that night. Dies horribly. Remaining elders, chief. Medicine man now very concerned. Everyone on reserve on high alert. No idea what to do. So back to me, sound, dot webm. 
Mention all this to old guy friend at bar. Looks uneasy. Grumbles some racist shit. Agrees with alcohol analysis. Seems like he's trying to convince himself. Drink a lot that night. Two more nights. Talk to friend by phone when I can. Everyone on reserve tense, agitated. Two close calls where people almost shoot each other going over to one another's houses. Doesn't spread much to town. Except. Old man seems distracted next few days. Almost takes his own leg off with chainsaw. Ask him what's up but he dodges question. Next day there's another body. This one is closer to town. Local police chief actually sees it, apparently didn't see the last one, and freaks out a bit. Official word from police, maybe a mountain lion? Fuck we don't know. Word at bar, serial killer on reserve. Word from friend, guy had been out gathering wood close to where first guy bit it. Houses were actually closed together. Near edge of reserve lands. Lots of blood found near house. Body was probably moved to where it was found after the guy was killed. Getting spooky. Gif. Sort of want to leave, but am here for friend and his GF. Parents are leaning towards letting them scram. Helping them but still want them to stay close for now. So gotta face the spoopa for now. Get old man friend to direct me to someone willing to lend a gun. Old rifle, Ithaca, think, not a gun person. Works though. Let friend know that if he needs out, got his back. Same time, old man is getting increasingly agitated. Looks like he wants to tell me something but. Pride.png Next night at bar. Old man isn't there. Talking to one of his friends. Have started to get to know people. Tells me that old man is worried about his friend on reserve. Lives near the two who were killed. Worried the killer is gonna get him next. Head back to house early, find old man coming down from attic I didn't know he had. Looks suspicious. BMP. Ask him what's up, ask for honesty. Being me, offer help, genuinely. Am the helping sorta of guy, as evidenced by presence far up north to help friend with GF. Tells me that yeah, he's worried, but nothing he can do, and not to worry. Sure. JPG. Sleep light that night. Before bed, phone friend. Tells me that entire reserve is getting weirdly hostile. Everyone notices it. But can't help it. Normally very nice peaceful people. In touch with nature and that shit. But unease is growing. Gnawing. Something is off. Makes me nervous too. Sleep with gun next to bed. Safety on obviously. Middle of night. Hear old man walking around above. Leaving the house. Decide to follow. Don't want anything to happen to him. Haha, ha, oh, wow.png. Am not unskilled at woodsmanship. Can move quietly, carefully. One of my best skills really. Not that it matters, old man is half deaf at the best of times, and is staggering like he's pretty drunk. Follow him out. Take rifle, of course. Notice he doesn't have his. Stay pretty far behind him, to be less easy to hear and see and because bad feeling is setting in. Heading towards reserve, by way of skirting town. Worry that cops might see me sneaking around with rifle, following a dude, but honestly would rather explain myself than get caught out here without it. It's quite the walk. Maybe an hour and a half. We get about 50 minutes before he stops. Pulls two things out of shirt, can't see either. Stay back in deep bushes, ready gun, stay very quiet. Old man calls out. Not to me. It's an old language. One of few I don't know well enough to at least understand. Am an amateur but enthusiastic linguist in spare time. What's for a response? 10 to 15 minutes. Getting cramped where I'm sitting. Then it shows up. No dramatic scent of blood or iron. 
No spooky repeated voice. Just an animalistic figure actually not unlike horse image, though not quite, and not rotting, and arms are normal size. Shimmering in air behind it, shaped like invisible wings made of dead branches. Like a heat shimmer but better defined. Entire thing is vaguely luminescent. Entire thing is also, in a way that's hard to describe, very very wrong. Nagoshi is hovering about a foot in the air. Glides along when it moves, with an unconcerned grace that conflicts with the world around it. This thing is not from here. This thing should not be here. Brain is having a little fight with itself. Instinct is to run like a spooked rabbit but am paralyzed by indecision. Besides, as mentioned, have in my nature a tendency to help people, and get the sense that old man is going to need help soon. Old man speaks to it again, and it answers in an odd and deep but not in human voice. Answers in English, too, which weirds me out more. Addresses old man by name. Starts moving towards him. He tosses something at it. Here, take it back. Ignores him and thrown item. Old man takes a step back, brings up pistol. Fuck if I know what kind, didn't even know he had one. Almost get my own gun ready here, but stay frozen. Old man puts every bullet he has into this thing. Surprisingly calm. Good aim. Thing does not care in the slightest. Does not move aside from continuing to approach him. When he's out of bullets he throws the gun at it. Doesn't even duck. Old man looks at it, droops a bit. I guess that's it then. Nagoshi leans in towards him. Teeth rippling oddly in smile. Yes. Nagoshi leans down to retrieve thrown object from near its feet. Examines it as old man is lifted from ground and torn apart instantaneously. Most excruciatingly gross thing I have ever seen. Want so bad to do something but fuck. What even do dot jpg. Stay hidden as best as can. Almost stop breathing entirely. Nagoshi examines the thing old man, rest in peace, threw at it. Small stone maybe. Was too far away to see right. Bits of old man settled to ground. Looks like he was ripped inside out and then cut into half inch wide cubes over the course of maybe a moment. Don't want that to happen to me. Stay still. Stay quiet. Don't pray because the only gods left here are maimed or malicious. Eventually it hovers away. Watch as it does. Trees, hills, everything just bends away to make room. Casually manipulating reality without any visible effort or motion. Or perhaps that is just how reality interacts with it without any prompting. Either way, not something I want to tangle with. Stay there until almost morning. Go back to house. Sleep, out of sheer exhaustion. Return gun to guy I borrowed it from. Call friend. At reserve. Everyone seems to be feeling better. GF's parents decide that now is the time for friend and his GF to leave. I come pick them up. Only stop on the way is to report to the police that old man is missing. Don't think they'll find anything because A, he got really minced compared to the others and B, was way out in the middle of nowhere. GTFO never go back. So moral of the story is that true Nagoshi are not to be fucked with in any way shape or form. Any questions?